ครับทุกคนนี้ก็ผ่านการตรวจหาเชื้อโควิดได้เรียบร้อยกรรมการผู้ชี้ขาดบนเวทีครับกรรมการภูกิจพรามประยูนนะครับไม่ใช่พงพัดว่องไวนะครับคนนี้ก็คือภูกิจพรามประยูนครับ
walk through Vanitek, but he wants to go through to the final to potentially fight Teng Neng for a second time. He did lose to Teng Neng by KO, but he's gotten much, so much better since that fight last year, no doubt about it. I mean, not sent to plan out is no mean feat. Nice straight right hand, followed by a right kick to the body from Mendez. It's been a great round for him. Oh, nice elbow attacks there. Gotta uh, wonder how much of it is just nerves as well, fighting for Thai fight for the first time is Benesek, whereas Mendez, this is his fourth time fighting the Thai fight ring. Oh, elbows again coming in. Oh, and he's cut again over the top oh, of the left eye. Right. right hook. Oh, saved by the bell. Fantastic Again, look how the way he's walking back to the corner here at Thai Fight. A fantastic round for Mendez. There's the short right. Knocks Benesek down moments into the fight. I imagine we're going to see that right elbow as well. Down he went again. Cut him. Finished the round with a flurry of elbows as well. That was a 10-8 round if I've ever seen one, Aaron. We're looking for that spinning back elbow. Oh, right hook there. Beautifully timed from Mendez. He then moved in with a left hand. They go, but again, I look at Thai fight, they don't really want you to utilize that clinch. Benesek looks like he's at least uh, recovered on the inside. However, his exterior is an absolute mess. Good body shot there from Benesek. Looks like he's been in a car accident. Mendes still taking his time. Oh, and again, Benesek, not overawed, still going in with those combinations and delivered a nice looking elbow. Oh, that blood is pouring from the top of the court. It looks like he's going into the left eye there, Adam. The left hook from Mendes just over the top. It's almost like a wrestling injury, like he took a razor blade to his forehead in the first round. Mendes spinning again, back looks, elbow attempt. looking for that elbow. It's not necessary. Oh, good right hand there. Straight yeah, down the pipe hole. You're right, he doesn't need to get fancy. Everything that worked for him in the first round was straightforward. Straight right hands, short right hooks, and crisp ah! elbows. But fair play to Banasek. He's not took one step back in the second round. Oh, nice leg kick, that hurt! Yeah, he has to block those leg kicks there, Adam. Definitely hurt him. He's doing really well in this yes. second round. Beautiful combinations, great hands. All energy, all output there from the Polish-American fighter. Could he be like the American Konklai? He just likes to see his own blood first before he <laughs> yeah, maybe. turns on the Jets. Good nice body, body work as well from Benesek. All Benicek. output, all output. Good knee there from Mendes. We've Stop. seen Mendes fade before here at Thai Fight. They're going to take a look at that I cut. I was about to say, they need to take a look at it, to be honest. I hope they don't stop it, though. I hope they don't look too carefully, because they might see right out the back of his head. <laughs> it would be a shame to stop this fight right now, because he's... He's winning this round easily. He went back to Banasek. Knees to the body there as well. Stabbing knees on the American fighter. Mendes and good body work. I love that combination. I don't know why, but Mendes seems to be getting in his head that he has to throw those elbows. He has to make it an elbow war. I don't know why he's doing that. It's not necessary at all. Oh, as you said, Aaron, he's just getting outworked. Remember in the first round, it was from beautiful body kicks to the bo body kicks. All that, oh, left elbow. I thought he had him then. All that's disappeared, and he's looking for that over the top spinning is that, elbow. Is that one of the bonus techniques? Is he looking for a payday? No, no, no. I'll talk about that later. Outside kick, and I'll tell you what, Adam, that right Heard leg it. is... In Unbelievable agony. turn of events here in round two as... Incredible stuff from Benesek here in round two. As good as Mendez looked in round one, he looked equally as bad in round two. There's that leg kick that was bothering him. And really, as you said, Aaron, it was just output from Benesek. Just um, a lot of leg kicks, a lot of body work, and just controlled the pace and the action. And we got a fight now, Aaron. We really do. One fight each. Remember, boys and girls, the winner of this will advance to the final to take on either Teng Nung or Nicholas Rooney. Next month, we hope, in the final. It's going right back to that thigh kick, Aaron. Why not? He knows it worked for him in round two. 
And if I was in Mendez's corner, I would have told him, just get back to the basics. Throw that right hand, throw that right kick. Don't You don't need to get too fancy. I feel like right now, which I didn't think I would say in the first round, is Franasek's the lose. Well, I, I mean, I think I, I had round one, 10-8. You did? For oh, Mendez. The and the then right, round two, 10-9 yes. for, for Benesek. So I think Benesek actually needs to win this you're round right. just to get a draw. But I'm wrong almost every time that I predict the scorecard. Oh, no, you're so. correct, 100%. <laughs> I actually forgot about the knock round. Well, you knocked him down twice in that first round, so. But I mean, he, he's, oh, he doesn't look confident here in round three either. The left kick to the body there from Benesek. Inside kick from Mendez going by and Carr. Nice little shiver little cook there. Yeah, that was beautiful. Benesek just simply looks like a different fighter. He, he looks so uncomfortable in round one, and now he just, just looks like he belongs. Yeah, beautiful time right elbow there from Benesek. Knocking down the guard of Mendez and then sneaking that right cross in. But Mendez was absolutely exhausted here, Adam. Yeah, like I said, we've seen him have, I don't want to say cardio issues, but we've seen him fade in, in fights here before. And, you know, I hate to make it a physique thing, but, you know, so often you see those those fighters that are really muscled up suffer from cardio issues. This is really easy for Banasek right now. The way he's moving forward. Yeah, Mendes isn't really offering anything in the way of resistance here in round three, similar to round two. He looks like he's just hanging on. More but I'm going to be really curious to see what happens with the scorecards here. Do they go to a fourth round? It would have to be, wouldn't it? Oh, he's exhausted. He's out on his feet. Deep breath there from Mendez. Good knee to the body from Vanasek. I feel like the leg kicks in the second round completely took away the base of Mendez. And after that, Oh, look at that again, going back to the body. Left and right coming in from Banasek. Final moments now of the third and final round. Outside five kick from Banasek. He's looking in tremendous shape. Sneaky left elbow. Good block that time from Mendes. Oh, he's just having a field day in there. It's like he's... It's like Mendes is his sparring partner preparing him for a fight. He's just in there being a punching bag. It's crazy, so I don't, I don't really know what it was that got into his head in between round one and two and three, Aaron, that completely changed the way this fight happened. Well, looking at it from the outset, we're not the judges. We have to say 10-8 Mendez. Yeah, I mean, then, I, I would score 10-8 one, first round one Mendez. Second and third, which would make it a draw. And we'd yeah. have to go for a, a fourth extra round. That's what, that, I mean, that's honestly what I think. I can't really see it going another way, but as I said, I have been wrong so many times before. Usually when Payak Samui falls. But we'll see what these judges say. I have to think if it does go to a fourth round, Mendes has got nothing left. See the highlights. Well, apart from a few spinning back elbows, Oh, Banasek, it was all output. To be honest, I don't even think Banasek did that much in round three. I just think that Mendez didn't do anything. I think so it was a combination of both, if I'm being honest. Let's see how the judges scored it. เดี๋ยวมาถึงยกที่ 3 I would absolutely love to see the scorecards on that one. Yeah, I, I have no I, idea I how that unless, works. Unless they gave a 10-7. Can you do a 10-7? That was literally what I just thought, because there's no way that he run round two or three. No chance. Again, I'd like to see the scorecards.